lucky enough to catch up with the man they call Sharky. It's Andrew McFarlane. Andrew, welcome to MX TV, mate. Yeah, thanks. Nice to be here. Andrew, explain how your name come about as Sharky. It actually happened, I think it was like 97, 98, the Australian motocross titles. We were at a race and I was second the whole moto to Lee Hogan and I passed him on the last corner on the last lap and that happened again in the second moto. So Troy Doran named me Sharky. Just watched my prey and then bounced and, and made it happen on the last lap. Well, mate, you've been around the scene for quite a long time. A lot of the Australians probably haven't seen enough of you. You've been away for a while. Just for those guys out there watching, fill in a little bit about your career, where you started, how you started, and of course where you've gone from such a long time in the sport. I started racing when I was six, so back in uh, Brisbane in Queensland. Just graduated there, threw into the junior ranks, won a lot of dirt track championships, and then uh, turned into motocross, and then just went into the senior class, finished second in my first motocross season. Only rider to win the 125 and 250 Australian Supercross Championship in the same year. And then I just moved on from there, and that was kind of the start of my pro career. And then just went from there through to win a Supercross Masters Championship in 2000. I won a 99 Australian Motocross Championship, 2000 Australian Motocross Championship. And then I got a contract to go and race for Factory Yamaha in Europe. Five years in Europe, I, I raced for Factory Yamaha, for Factory Kawasaki, and Factory Yamaha through the Rinaldi team where I finished uh, second in the World Championship. I held the red plate there for I think about six or seven races. And then we left there in the end of 05 and we went to America to race Supercross and Motocross for Yamaha Troy. I got sort of struck by injuries when I first got there due to mechanical failures. That was a bit of a downside to my career obviously. And then again in 07, I was injured again. And then in 08, I was injured again as well. So I rode for Yamaha, Rockstar Suzuki, and then I rode for Motorsport Kawasaki. And that leads me to here, back in 2009, back in Australia, back in my home country. Ain't no better place than home. Well, you said you rode for Factory Yamaha, and of course that included Stefan Everts. What was it like hanging around a guy like that? Because he is a superstar. He is a superstar, and he's, a, he's, a, he's an icon for our sport. You know, he's probably one of the smoothest and most fluent and pleasant riders to see on a motorcycle. I mean, if you haven't seen a guy ride, it's pretty amazing. A great guy, a great family person. His dad, Harry Everts, who's three times world champion. You know, to spend that time with him was was really, really great, really amazing. He re really helped me out in a lot of different areas. Just to be a part of it, I think it's something special that uh, I can say, yeah, I, I hung out with Stefan. One thing that a lot of the people out there might not know, and I certainly know, is you won an Australia Championship as a privateer, mate. I think you're about the only bloke that would have done it in Australia, mate. That's an amazing effort. I rode for Star Yamaha. It was a totally privateer team. My dad sold his business at the end of 94 and decided to travel around with me and be my mechanic. And we fought hard. We travelled around the country in a Toyota Hyatt with a trailer on the back. We went up against guys like, you know, factory KTM, factory Yamaha, you know, factory Cowie at the time and smoked everyone. Well, talk a little bit about MX Rad, how it come about, because uh, it was a little bit secretive and then all of a sudden Andrew McFarlane's coming back home and he's going to be riding for a new team. How did that come about? I actually approached Brendan Radford for a personal private sponsor through Rockstar Energy Drink and he asked me what my plans were for the 2009 season. I said at this stage I'm talking with some other teams. He just said to me, he said, oh, I'll leave it with me and we'll see what we can do. And, and um, he said, I, I know a guy that wants to start up a race team and, and here we are. Andrew, it's been nine years since you've been away from the Australian motocross scene. What's it changed since then, mate? Has there been a big change for you in your eyes? Um, it has been. Like I said, you know, it's uh, there's a lot of image, a lot more profile. Obviously, the, the race trucks, the teams, the product, the equipment of the motorcycles, also the motocross scene itself. They've really stepped up the profile of the championship and it's great to come back, you know, I've raced all around the world and to come back here and race this championship, I'm enjoying it, I love it and I think it's, uh, I think it's great for our industry. How long are we going to see you in Australia racing, mate? Because you are going to give these kids a wealth of experience. How many more years of Andrew McFarlane? 
Well, mate, you know, I, I hope that's what I do. You know, it makes me proud to come back to Australia and race and still have my fan base there and still have my image as good as what it was when I left and it's still good now. And if I make everyone happy and appreciate my racing and, and what I can do, then that's cool. You know, if it's two years, then it's two years. If it's five, or, you know, if I can race when I'm 40 and I'm still doing well and I still, I'm still healthy and still love the sport, which I do very much, then you'll see me around for as long as it takes. But if not, if I'm not racing, I'll be around the sport because my plan in the future is to help some younger guys and be a part of like management and probably training and coaching and just looking after riders and things that I experienced in my career want to pass on to other riders and help lift their profile and their image in the sport like I have with my own. Mate, you're going to have a long line of riders lining up behind you when you get out of the sport. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure and uh, all the best for the rest of the season. No worries and uh, thanks MXTV and uh, great show and, and uh, look forward to uh, plenty more of it.